the first thing I want to show you how to do is draw a line. So we're going to go over to the side, the left side of the screen here, and hover over the tool that says draw Bezier curves and straight lines. Now, I might not be saying that right, but online I heard other people calling it the Bezier tool. So that's what I'm going to be calling it. This is the Bezier tool, and I use this to draw lines as well as curves. But right now I'm going to show you how to draw lines. So you're going to click that. You're going to move your cursor over to wherever you're going to start your line on your document. So I'm just going to pick a point on the grid, I click where I want that line to start, and I'm going to move my cursor. I don't have to drag it, but I'm just moving it to wherever I want that line to end, and click. Now I can continue this line in other directions, and obviously that is so useful when you're saying I'm going to make a, a little hat it would be upside down obviously I started really far up my document but I could make my um, cuff using this tool but right now I'm just going to show you to do a simple line so you've clicked at that point you want your line to end and you click enter and that I'm going to come over here to the um, little arrow now so I can select this line so now I've created this line now lines on their own often um, you're using multiple lines together to create an object so that would, might become a cuff or a sleeve or um, a lot of other things but the line a single line I actually use a lot in drawing schematics because I use them to mark um, where my measurements are supposed to be measured from so if I have a sweater sleeve I'll show the location of where the sleeve is to be measured from start, you know, to from the end of that start of that measurement to the end, and then above the line, and I'll show you more detail later on this tool. I will add um, the measurements in my inches and um, centimeters. So a basic line is very useful to know how to draw. All right, let me show you how to draw a curve in Inkscape. So you're going to go over to the left side of your screen and click the Bezier tool again. And you're going to click on your grid where you would like to start your curve. So I'm just going to click right here. And I'm going to click where I want my curve to end on the grid. And then I'm going to click enter. Now, obviously, I don't have a curve. I have a very straight line. But let me show you how I can make this straight line into a curve. So you're going to come over with your um, cursor and you're going to click edit pass by nodes. So click that. And now you can grab anywhere along this line and drag it out to create a curve. And you can do it both directions. Um, and then once you are happy with you know, where you dragged it out to, you can let go. And then you can proceed to click along this line. See, I just clicked what? Well, now it's a curve. I've clicked the curve again. And you can see I have these little, and I'm not going to pretend that I know what they're actually called. But we, you see there's these little almost balls on these lines. You can also use those to adjust um, the curve. And you can play around with this to do what you need to do for your schematic, what looks right and what works for your pattern you're creating a schematic for. Um, and obviously curves, you can use them for so many things in a schematic if you have a curved shawl or there's just most knitting patterns have shaping in them, which is so neat. And give, knowing how to draw curves allows you to show those in your schematics. So that's how you draw a curve in Inkscape. All right, now that I've got rid of that line we were practicing, I'm going to show you how to draw a object which is created just of multiple lines um, that are connected together. So I'm going to go back to my Bezier tool. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come down here at the bottom of my screen, wherever on my grid, on my document with the grids on it that I want to start. And I am going to click where I like a line where I want the start of the line. I'm going to drag it to where I want the line to go. And again, it's not really dragging it. You don't have to drag it in Inkscape. You just move your cursor. And then when I get to a point that I want to turn a corner, basically, on the grid or the document, I just click. And I see now I can basically turn and move in a totally different direction with an, and create another straight line. So I'm going to come up a little bit. How far do I want to come up? Let's say about there. Then I'm going to come over here. Oops. Where am I zoom in? I need to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Now we've used these lines in this Bezier tool to create an object. So 
we voila we have our first object and this kind of an object like i just created this is like a cuff so you can use this as on a schematic to this to outline your cuff and um that is basically called an object in Inkscape. What we've just created with the Bezier tool is a complete circuit basically around of lines. And I do this a lot when I'm drawing patterns in Inkscape or drawing schematics for patterns in Inkscape. So now you know how to draw objects in Inkscape.